All right, welcome back to MTG Madness, where we are going to crack a box of Commander Legends. So, let's go ahead and just get right into it. Uh, today was the release day for it, and went down to my LGS, and we got four boxes. So, just go ahead and pop these bad boys open. Hopefully, you get... You know, the Jeweled Lotus, or, I mean, I guess, any of the Vampiric Tutor, Mana Drain, Scroll Rack, definitely want that, but, yeah, so, all right, here we go. Let's just go ahead and get right into this. Ooh, these packs are a lot easier to open. Okay. Go through the commons here. I'm not gonna go through them too much. Sky Diamond, that's nice. Okay, so here is the uncommons. Make a stand. Ooh, three visits, that's great. Revenant and. Ooh, first mythic. Triumphant Reckoning. That, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then we'll move on to our legendaries. We got Mira and Jury, and then our foil is a Court Street Denizen, the soldier token. So let's get these piles going here. Move those out there. I'm kind of excited we're going to do some filming tonight with our play group. Everybody's been getting pretty excited. So I want to add a couple cards to my deck. All right, so first mythic right out the box. Preordain. Blade Brand. Fine Horn Elves, nice. Okay, here's the uncommons. Oh, my piles are getting messed up already. Uh, Pen and Blade, Lightning Rig Crew, Brass Herald, and Court of Bounty. Nice, one of the better courts. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of these courts, but I actually haven't played with them, but I, I, I just feel like anything that doesn't do anything to your next turn is kind of slow, you know? So. And then we'll move on to our legendaries, which you can, there are some mythics and whatnot you can get in here. Vow of Wilderness. Wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. Right? Oh. Getting my piles all mixed up. There we go. And the foil, and there's a Prismatic Piper a token. Yeah. I mean, I really want a Vampiric Tutor. Like, I think a Jeweled Lotus is fine and everything, but I'm all about... I, I just need some tutors, you know? They're good. Okay. Ranged Assistant. Or Solvent. And Moss Diamond. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna fix that in a second. Ancient Animus. Sase. Okay, got the Uncommons here. Horizon Scala. Volcanic Torrent. Reclamation Sage. Slash the ranks, a little board wipe action there. And Rebecca, Architect of Ascension. Gora Muldruck, the Amphimologist, Amphimologist, Skyraker Giant, it's foil. Yeah, these piles need some, need some work here. Hmm. 
No, I mean, I, I like to play white decks. I mean, everybody's like, oh, they're not very powerful. White's not powerful. But I like to play white just because there's lots of removal. And there's that Keeper of the Accord that, that I really want. And I want a couple of them. So hopefully you pull one. Speaker, inspiring roar, fire diamond. That's good. Tear more for expanse. Okay, so into our uncommons fencing ace, some double burnished heart, meteor golem, mm, sats will, and then we got rogue rock. Son of Raga. Kangi Skywarden. Ooh, Kamal's Will. Here's our foil rare. That is not very, not very foil. I mean, it's foil, but. Choose one. If you control your commander and you cast a spell, you may choose both. Until end of turn, any number of target lands you control become 1 1 elemental creatures with vigilance, indestructible, and haste. Still lands. Choose target creature you don't control. Each creature you control deals damage equal to its power of that creature. Okay. It's kind of interesting. So that's a foil rare there. Spirit token. How about we get some etched, etched, uh, we need some etched cards. I haven't pulled one yet. Okay. I opened up like 12 packs or something. In another video, and didn't get a single etched foil. Foundry Inspector, that guy's pretty good. Okay, on to Uncommons, Bow of Lightning. Pride of per of the Perfect. An ordeal of Nylea. And a Hole Breacher, hell yeah. I've been wanting one of these. People like to play wheels in my meta. And this card kind of shuts them down, you know? It's like a, instead of a Notion Thief, this is a treasure guy. So definitely be putting this in, into one of my decks tonight. Okay, and Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. Caddis, Emberclaw Familiar. And Supernatural Stamina, the copy. Okay, I did want that whole Breacher. I'm glad I got him. And obviously... The uh, Opposition Agent is another good rare, non-mythic rare. And Goblin Pirate. Creates treasure tokens when he dies and with Encore, so... I've been wanting to build um, a five-color treasure deck. But I don't... Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I gotta, I, I gotta build it, you know? <laughs> okay... Jeez Louise, I'm struggling with those commons. I just want to jump off the, the table. Command Tower, that's great. Supreme Will is a first uncommon with an Orzov Advocist. Mask of Memory. Ooh, Training Center. Here we go. So here's the, the command lands. That's what I heard somebody in another video call, and I like the name of them. But the other... Completed cycle of the Battle Bond lands. So, yeah. I guess some, is it? Is it lands? Uh, Kiskit, the Flesh Sculptor. Hans Ericsson. And a Kite Cell Corsair. The Zombie Token. Okay. Just moving along here. about making a pirate deck too. I actually had a pirate deck, but it kind of sucked because the pirates weren't that good. They were, there was a bunch from Ixalan, you know, but they weren't anything crazy. And there were some for like Marcadian masks that my friend that has a pretty big collection, he was, he hooked me up with. And it was kind of cool with the, I think it was uh, the Dead Eye Navigator where I was able to, to blink and force people to sack stuff. 
Which I always thought was weird that Dead Eye Navigator isn't a pirate. Okay, on to the uncommons. We got Vow Wilderness. Seb McKinnon art here with the Feast of Succession. Hero's Blade. Ooh, Staff of Domination. Another good hit. Get some infinite mana. Draw your whole deck. Ooh, Obeka, Brute Chronologist. I have a friend that would... It's probably He should make a deck with this. He already does in, in the turn crap. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Zara, Renegade Recruit. So this is a three, three rare pack with a legendary Armix Filigree Thrasher. It's really dark foiling. I mean, you can see... Actually, you can see it there in the video right there, but that seems pretty dark. And still no etched... Uh, Man at Piper. Still no etched, and this is a uh, after this pack it will be a third of the way through the box. So let's see if we can get let's see if we can get something etched. Let's get like a Timna. That's what I that's what I'd like. I mean, I'd be happy with any of them actually. <laughs> Answer. Humble Defector. Make a Zedra deck. Interpret the signs. Spy or sorry, Stinger Fling Spida and ooh, Profane trans Transfusion. Here's another Mythic. Pretty good. And then we have Emoti Celebrant of Bounty and Kark the Thumbless. Okay, good. He's going into my coin flip deck tonight. And Sears Lantern and the Monarch. So, we have the other two-thirds of the box to go. So, let's see if we can get some... Still looking for an etch foil. Obviously still want a Lotus. Want a Vampiric Tutor. See if we get there. Fire Diamond. On to the Uncommons, we got the Vow of Duty. Noxious Dragon. Shimmer Mirror. Port Razor. Here's another mythic. Uh, when Port Razor deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature control. After this combat phase, or additional combat phase. Port Razor can't attack a player that's already been attacked this turn. So, I mean, you can attack at different opponents and get different combat steps. Armex Filigree Thrasher. Malcolm Keen Eyed Navigator. With a Rip Scale Predator and a Treasure Token. Okay. Any cards that you guys are excited about? From this set, I'm just had. To, I'm just glad that there's been like a an actual set that's like commander specific. I mean, yeah, like we get stuff in like Modern Horizons, and you know, Battle Bond was like pretty cool, but to actually get a, a set that is like this, is, I was really excited about. It. I was really happy. Oh, Ingenuity Engine. So, so apparently these have all the different swords in them. So you can see like the sword of body and mind back there, the blue and green one. And then this is the Feast and Famine. I'm like trying to see if there's any more in there. I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. I saw somebody point that out in a video. I was waiting to pull it to talk about it. Then we have Volcanic Dragon. Sifter Worm, War Room, this could be interesting, the land, okay, and the Dear Agent of the Duskenel, the, the Lease Reverent Medium, oh, here we go, Etched Foil, Obeka Brute Chronologist, that is pretty awesome. 
And this is the so it's uh the it's gold. It's a gold card, you know. So it's got the. It's pretty nice. Probably get a sleeve for that. Cool. Leave that right there. So I got one finally. Not let us continue. Still would like a big hit. Still would like a big hit. I'm really looking forward tonight, though. We're going to play some of our King Commander. We do five players. Sometimes we do six, but it gets kind of crazy when it's with six. It takes a minute to play the game, but still really fun. So on to the end comments. We have the Daring Saboteur, Merchant Raiders, Sandstone Oracle, and a Horizon Stone. Okay. This is kind of an interesting card. Because basically if you create mana that you don't use on your turn, it just becomes colorless mana that just sits in your pool and doesn't go away. So that's I feel like you could abuse that pretty good if you built a deck around that, you know. Halana. Nymus. Nymris. Unus Trickster. That's a knight. That's a knight card, huh? Well, fairy knight, but... The Silverback Shaman. The... Awesome looking golem token. Okay. So far, so good. Still need a big hit, though. I mean, I'm pretty happy with what we got so far, but always want, want more. I guess that's the, the greedy, greedy American in me. Okay, uncommons here. First response. No color, cast down, and the sweet gum recluse. This guy's kind of weird. He's zero three for six. I mean, he has flash and cascade, and he puts counters on stuff. Seems seems good. Seems expensive. I mean, zero. I don't know. Togo, Tuya, Bear Claw, and a foil foundry inspector, the Piper. Angel token. Fix these piles real quick here. Because they're getting kind of silly. So we've had one foil rare so far. And I think three mythics. We're about halfway through the box right now. Let's see if we can get there. Pilgrim's Eye. Hate to be that twin. Command Sphere. Explosion of Riches. Imperious Perfect. It's good for Elf Tribal. Thought Vessel. Take it. Soul of Eternity. Equal to your life total. Avatar, Alana, Sklurk, Slurk, and a foil uncommon make a stand. That is so dark. It's so dark. Okay, soldier token. Okay. Okay. Jalom. Marble Diamond, Fertilid, Path of Ancestry, Siren, Storm Tamer, Faith's Fetters, Hunter's Insight, and a Root Weaver Druid. This guy is cool. I was thinking like... So yeah, so when you're in Battlefield, each opponent search our library for up to three basic land cards and put one of those cards into the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest under the, their control. Like I was thinking like a Homer path, but Homer path only works for creatures. So I was trying to think of like some other janky way to counter this. If someone were to, I don't know, it's kind of an idea. That's the great thing about magic is they come out with these new cards and so many different ways you can go with it. Kel 
Kelleth, Sun Main Familiar. Oh. Oh. Tavesh Sat. I almost like skipped him. <laughs> Doom of Fools. In my other video, I got a I got an extended art of this or showcase art or whatever. So cool. There's a mythic in the legendary slot. I really would like the angel. Sanitarium skeleton. Because I have a, a Boros Angel deck that I love beating up on people with. Okay, let's continue. Oh, skipping over cards again. Actually, let's just, let's move that out of the way. Charcoal Diamond. Vistrasair. Angelic armaments. Speaking of angels. Glint Leaf Winnower. Grafted war gear and a wheel of misfortune. So this thing is freaking weird. So basically everybody chooses a number. Zero or greater. So everybody so people can choose zero. So basically, if you have the highest number, it deals that much damage to you, and then everybody but the lowest person gets the wheel. So if you have a have some good stuff in your hand and somebody plays a wheel, you just say zero because you want to keep your hand that everybody else can wheel. It's interesting. I like it, though. Because there's been many a time that somebody's played a wheel, and I'm like, ugh, I didn't want to wheel my hand away, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so Rayav, Aswar, Prophetic Prism, and a zombie. So maybe let's see if we can get another one of these etched. Let's see if we can get another one. I mean, obviously, I want all the cards. I want all, I want them all. <laughs> Hobo Pals. And we have some Coastline Marauders. And I think this Encore, this Encore thing is going to be fun to play with. Thirst for Knowledge, Patron of the Valiant, Amphin, Amphin Mutineer, Salamander Pirate, Numa, Numa Numa, Quain, here's the Rabbit Wizard, Gift of Paradise Foil, with a rock. You like Josh Lee Kwai and throw rocks for days. I don't know if you guys seen that command zone video, but it was uh, it's pretty good. He was he was using the uh, the red guy that makes those rocks. Let's see if I can find it. This guy Togo, and then he had like a inspiring Ashuary that lets it has the the affinity for artifacts. So he's basically using them as mana and not as damage. It's pretty smart. Okay, we're on to the last third of the box. See if we can get a mythic or two. I mean, I'd love to get some more mythics. <laughs> See what we get. Kangi's Lieutenant. Dreamstone, he drawn. Feast of Succession, wrong turn. And our Wolved Familia. Radiant Sarah Archangel. A full command sphere with a Piper. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Seven packs left. Okay, so we have a mindless at automaton. Burning Anger. That's kind of cool. Arcane Signet. Always take those. Ooh, and a scroll rack. Here we go. Here we go. I actually have a proxy one of these that my friend gave me because I have a Gishath dinosaur deck. And he was like, you know, scroll rack seems fair in that deck. And because, like, if you have dinosaurs in your hand, you can't get to play them for free off the top of your library. But if you have scroll rack, so, yeah, there we go. Casket. Ghost of Ramirez de, de Pietro. 
and an Iona's Judgment foil copy. Okay, six to go. Let's see if we can get another etched. Get another etched. Let's do it. What is that? Is that like the signature right there? Scott Cho? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of those, uh, those, the, uh, the full art, the full art etched cards, like, or not etched. Yeah, they were etched in the, um, the set boosters. Except for this is an etched, it's just on a common. And this is signature. Anyway, interesting. I don't know why I haven't noticed that before. Marble Diamond. Farhaven Elf. Great ETB. Path of Ancestry. Okay, on the Uncommons here. Skilled Animator. Scaled Behemoth. Confiscate. Taking things. Promise of Tomorrow. Kedis. Kadama of the East Tree. This guy's good. And we got a Mindless Automaton foil. And that one's actually really dark, too. Okay. All right. Makeshift munitions. Oh. Run away together. Another charcoal diamond, Viscera Seer. Soul Sire. Open the armory. That's actually pretty good. Equipment or an aura for two. So the Steel Shaper's gift is one white. So this is pretty good. It's a pretty good tutor. And it puts it into your hand. So that's always good. A Golem Artisan. Kum. Kumon by Witches. And a Blasphemous Act. I always take these. I love board board clearing for one red. And people have tons of dan tons of creatures out, you know. Another Rebek. Itch Tekik. Salvage Splacer. Kind of foil prying eyes. The Monarch. Okay, four to go. Four packs to go. I think we've hit our Mythics for the box, but you never know. Might get surprised at the end here. These cards, I just love the smell of new cards. Just smell that ink. It's like, ooh, I'm opening up packs. Uh, Frenzy to Saddle Brute, uncommon. A monstrous onslaught. Wait, I think, uh, so we should have a foil uncommon, I'm, I'm guessing. Nightshade Harvester. Dargo, Shipwrecker. Siani, Eye of the Storm. And a Foil Doom Traveler. That was weird, I thought I only got two uncommons there, but... Whatever, it's weird. Okay, three packs to go. Cascading Counterspell. So funny to me. I mean, I guess if you were to get into a Counterspell battle with somebody, then, like, you could Cascade into another Counterspell, but... I don't know. Maybe if you were running, like, a, a Baral Chief of Compliance deck, and you're just, like, running Counterspells for days. Sky Diamond. Scholar of the Ages, Return to Dust, Nadir's Nightblade, and Jessica's Will. It's a pretty cool card. So you target somebody that has seven cards in their hand and you get seven mana for three, and then exile the top three cards in your library and play this turn. This turn, not until the end of the next turn. It's pretty good. Abomination, Lana War, some Elf War. 
And, oh, Golgari, Legendary's up in here. The Belby Corrupted Observer. Oh, Foil Command Tower. I'll take that. I think it's the only place... I mean, this in the Collector Boosters, but... I'll put that right there. Foil Command Tower. Okay, two packs left to go. We're almost done, guys. Kind of a longer video, but... We're kind of new on this channel, so... As we get better and faster and more popular. Fine Horn Elves. Vow of Torment. Lore Seeker Stone. Strength of the Pack. Ooh, and a Rejuvenating Springs. Nice, we got our second Command Land. Lysha, Shroud of Dusk, and Arkelos, Lagoon Mystic. He's going to be fun. Because he basically is a uh, Amulet of Vigor built into him. It's pretty good. Elf, I Blight Assassin foil. Piper. Okay, last pack. Doesn't look like we're getting a jeweled lotus in this in this box. Falcon Invoker, preordain, looting goblin, moss diamond, furnace celebration, and plague reaver. Did we get two of those? I'm not sure. Anyway, Plague Reaver, Prava of the Steel Legion, Yurlock, Scorch Thrash, Mana Burn. Ooh, and the last pack comes with another etched foil. Soldier token. So we finished with two etched foils. Let's see how we did on our mythics. Okay, so we got two of the nine casters. Scroll rack, port razor, and then I'm pretty sure we got um, Teshvat in, up in here. Let's just double check real quick. Yeah, there he is. Double check to see any more orange. So this seems like a pretty standard box, nothing, nothing too crazy. We got one foil rare. Uh, let's see if we can find him real quick. Yeah. Kamal's Will. So, yeah. So, that was, uh, that was our first box opening. And, uh, hope you enjoyed. And just stay tuned, because we're going to be... I mean, we got three more boxes, and then we have, uh, uh one collector, um, collector box... And then I think we're going to have three other boxes as well. So lots more to come. Thanks for watching. And